Special delivery with Kadeem Hardison. I'm a big comic book fan. I've been a geek since inception. But a big debate was always Superman versus Batman. I believe Batman would tear Superman in pieces. But I have cousins and friends and family who think that Superman is the all I see in a supreme being can do anything. You see this here? The Jolly Rancher he got on his ring? He'll knock the shit out of Superman. <laughs> He'll punch him into the middle of kryptonic hell with this little Jolly Rancher. And Superman don't see it coming because he's a Boy Scout. He's thinking, I'm super. I'll just come in there and be super. But no. So right now, Sideshow is gonna let me unbox Superman vs. Batman. Batman vs. Superman. Step one, the base. This is the setup for where Superman gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> Step two, there's the ass <laughs> that's gonna get kicked. <laughs> Easy. Comes with a peg, snap it right in. Not even snap, slides right in. Boom, you good. Let's put him on one of his hands. It's one of his hands. Bang, it's all magnetized. Used to be back in the day, I got a couple of statues from the guys and they didn't have magnets on them. So if you touch something, it would fall off and break and then you'd just be out of luck. <laughs> but now, bang, magnets. Cape, this is part of what makes him super. And that's why he got all that confidence because he got the S for super. But he don't know he about to get super fucked up. By the dark night. So you put the cape in first. It's a little tricky. Put the cape in first, and then you go with the head. Because the head holds the cape in place. And I've done this once, and the first time it was way better. There we go. There we go. Flush. So this is what a scared superhero looks like. I'm at a Superman. He sees Superman. But He's scared right now. If you could get in close, you could see a little bit of pee running down his legs. I'm gonna show you how scared he is. He's so scared. This is an alternate portrait. You can take this head off, put this one down, and bang, you can put on an alternate portrait. Oh shit! <laughs> He's coming! <laughs> That's your boy. I grew up. With the bat, Ooh. the dark knight. Don't you start that. <laughs> I grew up on Adam West, yeah. the real dude. He was working in the city. He wasn't flying around on some special shit. He was for the people. The knee bone connected to the rib bone. <laughs> and Superman, the elbow connects to the belt. And now, we got all the makings of the almost end. Bop. I'm gonna kick your ass, is what he's saying. Get off my planet. This is that dude. I'm getting so excited. So again, it's the same. Kick first. We don't need signs to tell you who we are. You know what I mean? We don't need all that shit. Just black. Boom. Cape goes over the shoulders. The head holds the cape in place. Now we got a hand, and in the hand, the batarang. Batman's weapon of choice. He always throwing batarangs at fools. And usually, it'll scare you. If you see a batarang coming, that meant that was your ass. The batarang is not magnetized, like everything else. So I'm not happy that my batarang could get away from me. If you jam it in there a little bit, you can almost feel it stick and hold. And then you gotta reach around. Come on, reach around. Bam! So he kind of, you know, just kind of flung that in a direction just to get his attention. But he's gonna finish him with that Jolly Rancher. This that thing that Superman don't know nothing about. He don't know Batman even know that. You know what I mean? He just think, oh, this fool is coming out the sky in a cape and wanna throw hands? I'm gonna let him have it. Then you see the Jolly Rancher. Oh shit! The terror. You see the eyes? At this point, he knows 
Yeah, he, he wishes he could fly around the world and reverse this whole scene. But it's too late, because the kryptonite is on his ass. It's a wrap for your boy, Superman. Boy Scout is not going to beat the Dark Knight. He's all about dark, and he's all about goody-goody. It's, it's a nice dude. He's a nice dude. You let him date your daughter. Nice dude. But this dude here, he'll put you, this, he'll put you to bed. He'll wipe you out. He's not trying to play. And if you come around crashing buildings and running amok, nah, but you got to go. And that's when he's gonna pull out that candy, <laughs> give him a taste, and that's all she wrote. Get yours, I got mine. Special delivery with the damn artist. Boom! What Superman needed was these. <laughs> then he wouldn't have got his ass whooped. He could have ran away from Batman, who was coming after him with them Jolly Ranches. Shout out LeBron.